What happens when two of the most experienced solo players come together to take on the most challenging official server? Main. Well, in this Rust adventure, Alone in Tokyo and I are gonna find out. This is a tale of how two solos built a fortress worthy of an empire, and how we caught the attention of the biggest Zerg in Rust and faced them at full force head on leading to the greatest and most memorable Rust adventure of my career. I hope you enjoy. The time was 8am, exactly 72 hours from the start of our adventure. And in that time we'd built a mighty fortress and watched as the surrounding Zergs battled each other and crumbled. But it wouldn't be long before their attention came to us. If we were to stand a chance as two players against 30 and more, we would need to prepare. Meaning raiding, ratting and stealing every bit of resource we could before our inevitable end. <laughs> Tokyo, I swear, every time I log off and come back on, the base just transforms. I mean, what, what have you done? This thing's insane. Starting off the day, we needed some gears for some extra garage doors. We begun by hitting up the road and opening crates. Oh, we got a barrel farmer. Guy's got a red hoodie. He's got to have some good stuff for me. No gears, but he had the loot. Car on the road. Full kits. Oh my god, it's so many. <laughs> Holy shit! I probably should not have done that. Dum dum. Oh, that is the Thai Zerg. They've got more than 30 players, man. With the Thai Zerg patrolling the road with more than three vehicles, we decided to hit our power plant and run the puzzle. No gears yet. What about you? Any luck? Yeah, oh nice. Alright, so we got we got the gears we need. Let's get out of here. With some gears acquired, our next focus was building up auto turrets, the strongest defense when outnumbered in a raid. We decided to hit up the Arctic base in the search for laptops and cameras. Oh my god, Arctic Camp is loaded, man. I've barely been farming it at all, and I've already almost got a full inf. Nice, got a laptop that's huge. Nice, camera for another turret. Wow, two under scrap. I didn't get any more gears, unfortunately, but uh, I did get a camera and a laptop. R19 has 100 rockets. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, 1100 explosives, that's crazy. Damn, Tokyo's been so busy, I've got like a million doors to unlock. Alright, got that locker. Get the beds in here, nice. Ooh, I like that you can jump to the edge of the compound up here, it's quite nice. Very handy. Oh shit, that's a speedy car. Oh my... Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! No way. That's an entire fucking convoy. Bro, these guys are terrifying. And Tokyo just shoots at them. <laughs> what the fuck? This man has a death wish, I swear. With the Thai Zerg patrolling so deep, it was important that now, more than ever, we set up our defenses. And while alone in Tokyo got to work with the electricity, I thought I would be useful by doing some raids. Ah, we got a quite a new base over here, Tokyo. This wasn't here last night. Is there a garage door? Ah, double single metal door on the outside, key lock. I think this might be a good raid. Oh, 
it's very open in here. High call ceiling. Oh, 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 I am reading this. This, this is going to be so worth. Just got to get through one door. Easy. Oh, please don't go off. Ah! Ah! Oh, a lot of boxes. Got some guns. Got some comps. Couple gears. A little bit of sulfur. Oh, not bad, not bad. Lots of low grade. Okay, it's not looking like a, not looking like a bust. Uh, okay, not the best. You know what though? That wasn't a totally awful raid, I don't think. Oh, 10 springs. I hadn't even seen that. That's actually huge. We are absolutely ball in Tokyo. With our turret system set up, the next thing we needed for a strong defense was lots of kits. And for that, we would go for some PvP. Ooh. Got some SARS near our base, Tokyo. Wait, I got three guys on me. They didn't see me. Bumple dead. Oh my god, another one's one HP. Come on, hit this guy! Wh what? Bro, I don't know where my bullets were going. Two dead. It's one more. Oh my gosh. He's been farming. This guy's loaded. Wait, there's another Arctic on me, actually. I think I got him. Dead. I think that's all of them. Oh, yeah, these guys are full. There's lots of guns, too. a nice quick first room. Just got a loot delivery of two inventories. We take that. Alright, fuck it. We go again. Ooh. Tommy up there. Yeah, let's definitely go for that. I'm going for him. I'm dead. I think that was one of the Tommy guys. There's an Arctic up there, I see, actually. Oh, guy below us. Dead. He's just double barrel. Yeah. Nice. Wait, there's a... There's a farmer over there. I'm gonna kill him in a sec. Maybe come if you can. I reckon this guy's gonna be loaded. Going from now. Oh my god. I just whipped so hard. That was almost very embarrassing. Oh! Shins. Oh no. This is the Tai Zerg. Um. I think I need to get out of here. <laughs> Fuck me. At this point, the Tai Zerg, who we'd seen driving past, already knew our names. And killing their farmers like that is not gonna make them very happy. Well, there's another kit for a raid defense. We'd love to see it. Motherfucker. Oh. At this point in Wipe, the best way to gather resources is by raiding other bases. And so we headed out to explore our area on the hunt for targets. Alright, this base is looking interesting. Oh, the cheese log. Yeah, I'm not surprised. T40 record. Hmm. Little sus. Hey, uh, th this could be a good one, actually. A uh, cute little uh, bunker-looking base. I reckon we could just open up the top. Easy profit. Oh, I reckon this guy's gonna have some stuff. Man's got the blue shirt, bandana, and cap. He's been uh, hitting barrels. <laughs> oh, this poor guy, man. Even out of Jackie. Alright, nice. Yeah, I reckon we start by hitting that 2x2. Uh, two 
Uh, this is gonna pain you. I am recycling a camera. I don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tokyo. It's gotta be done. Needing lots of cloth for more meds, I bought a bunch of tack gloves from Outpost and recycled them. For those of you that don't know, buying a tactical glove for 40 scrap is one of the most efficient ways to farm up cloth quickly, with each one giving you around 250 after recycling. Alright, I got over a thousand cloth. I am ready to come home. Wait, this guy has just left outpost. He is gonna be loaded. I'm gonna murder his ass. Oh, he keeps running away! Yeah, I reckon I can get him here. Here we go. What? What? No! What? Uh, okay. Um, I, I swear I just hit him with like 12 shots and then my custom broke! No! Well, I have no guns, so if I run into someone now, I am gonna be very sad. Alright, sending you 1500 cloth now. Perfect. And then... Let me see. I reckon I can buy a bunch of wood and then send that to you as well. Okay, sending you 20,000 wood. Boom. I've got a little bit left, but I think that'll do. And with those frags, I think that'll do. That's pretty much everything good that I've got. I'm coming home. But first, <laughs> I've got to put all in on the gambling wheel. Never in real life, but on the bandit camp wheel, I think it's allowed. All right, all in on five. It's going to hit, and then I'm going to all in on one, and I'm going to be rich. Come on. Oh. Oh. And that's why we don't gamble. <laughs> After F1 killing and returning home, I headed out on a short farming run. We were going to need lots of high qual to upgrade our entire open core to armor. You know what we need, Tokyo? We need automation with these furnaces. That is what I'm going to do. That is my next step. So, I need battery, solar panel, adapter, conveyor, splitter, and combiner. Nice. Oh! Don't do it. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. How cool is that? That's actually so cool. <laughs> like, slide that behind a window. Wait, that could actually, like, be viable. Could you put it on a low wall, like, behind a window? Before going ahead and setting up automation, we wanted to raid the 2x2 two by, two by dome. Big raid E7. Oh shit, that's Tacula's base, isn't it? Oh my god. Do we know who buy? Boom. Very nice, very nice. TC unlocks. Oh, good lord. Uh, it's a bit awkward to seal. We're gonna need to soft side that later as well, so we probably should seal. Wait. Never mind. Oh my. What the fuck? Alright, let's go. Okay, good raid, good raid. We got a lot from that. Oh my god, there was still so much more we couldn't grab. Ooh, 40 feet of rope. Yeah, you should probably come back, actually, because we're going to need all that charcoal, and I do not have space. These guys were loaded. As I spawned their blue last foundation, it crumbled. Oh, shit. We're well, fucked if they're red. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong, man. That is crazy. I mean, I'm assuming Tack had a big base and still got foundation wiped. Space was huge. Yep. <laughs> That's not good, man. This Tyzerg is crazy. So, despite having more numbers and arguably better skilled, Takular and his squad had been foundation wiped by the 30 man Zerg. And all in the space of just a couple of minutes. And what does this mean for the humble duo myself and Tokyo if they attempt to raid us? 
Well, that was something we'd have to worry about later on. For now, it was time to set up the automation. Eh? I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. <laughs> Do I pipe? Huh? I mean... What can I say? I, uh, 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 oh, rust pipe. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. I, I, <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Prove it. Bet. I'm gonna do it right now, just you watch. Now, just you watch. Although I can't say I've ever done this with six electric furnaces before. I'll figure it out. Ah. Ah. Before I do the piping though, I want to be able to see in this bitch. It's time to get some lights. Hey, we're working. We, we got the setup. Let's go. All right, now I'm ready. One, two, three. Beautiful. Okay, that should be all the furnaces working. <laughs> Scary. The fuck? Alright, now the question is, does it work? Does it work? Okay. Alright, let's get all the ore, chuck that in here. Wait, I think it's going up. <gasps> it's working! Let's go! Yep, it's getting- oh, that's so beautiful. Hey, I told you I could lay pipe, Tokyo, any day. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, I, d <laughs> I don't appreciate this slander. It is sucking. Yeah, I told you I could do it. <laughs> In desperate need of high quality metal to upgrade the base, we decided to attempt to run the quarry. Currently, this was owned by the Thai Zerg, who we'd attempted to raid their quarry base the day before. This could be a big risk. Okay, I think it's looking clear. I reckon we just send it. Oh my god. Oh, you cut that very fine there, man. Holy. Hey, they got a wooden double door up here now. Before running the quarry, we attempted to once again raid their farm base. We wouldn't make the mistake this time of using rockets and alerting them of our presence. Oh, open garage door. Oh, bolty. Take that. Not bad for one molly. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, another open garage door. Oh, yeah. Uh, nothing in there. Aw, oh, man. Nothing. That's a shame. Full kit. Nice. Hey, you know what? We take that full kit AK. That is worth a couple doors, I reckon. Alright, I think <laughs> that's enough farming. Alright, we got 10 diesel. I'll take, what, 25 minutes? And then that'll get us uh, 500 high core, should be very good. Alone in Tokyo dropped me off on their tower to cover while he used the quarry. We waited throughout the night and early into the morning and eventually got our high core. Hey, come pick me up. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that took way too long. Alright, that's huge. I mean, we've already got 350 high quell. We'll take another 500. And with the high quell cooking, we decided to go on a roam towards Dome. However, we would end up not making it that far. Oh, there's a guy up ahead behind the old Zerg base, Arctic, with a Jackie? Out to farm. Headshot him. He's running towards you now. Wait, there's another one on me. 
dead, dead. Good. One more. Oh shit, we're getting silenced. Is that M2? Hey, oh, you're dead. Fuck. Oh, that's the M2. No, no, what? No. Six bodies? Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, M2. Fuck, I should have killed that guy, man. Wait, I have a Tommy. I'm pushing for the M2. I might actually be able to get him. I don't know where they are, though. Wait, I did down him. He's dead. Finished M2. I see one more on me, I think. I'm dead. No. One more metal MP5 inside. Fuck. We lost the fight as we were clearly outnumbered. But we weren't going to give up that easily. We risked our locker kits and headed straight back. Oh no, you're dead again. I'm coming. Oh, this guy in my front. Dead. Ah, I whiffed. I hit him once. He's running. That, no, there's an AK really high up, too. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to flank, but they know I'm here already. Alright, I'm going super wide. I'm gonna go to the top of the mountain, Tokyo, if you can stay alive. Ah, oh, you're dead. Fuck. Okay. Well... I'm gonna be above them, but I don't know how much I can do. There are a lot of them. I'm above them now. I see two. Oh, I see three, actually. Oh, I really want to fight this. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna do it. I think I downed one. Oh, fuck. There are another two over here. Okay, one more dead. Oh, I think I only downed the first one, so he's probably being picked up. Five bodies. Might have downed that one, maybe. I can't really tell. Oh, they know I'm hit. Okay. All right, this is tough. Oh, he's won. I whiffed again. Hit four times. I have no meds left. I'm backing up. To win this fight, we would need both of us at full force. We grouped up and went on another wide flank. You good? Nice. I'm gonna get that one. Dead, dead. Two dead, two dead. Two AKs. Should be one or two left. Oh, silence empty on me. I'm one, I'm one. He's on top of the hill. Fuck. I'm dead, I'm dead. Coming back. I had died, but alone in Tokyo had managed to steal an inventory of sulfur and made his way out. Alright, give me everything you can and I'll run it home. Oh yeah, you got that guy. No, oh, nice. You know what? We lost a couple kits, but that is what? Oh my. Go get him, man. The loot is all in the vending machine. Very nice. Good job, man. I'm glad you managed to get away with that, because that made it all worth it. While overall we'd lost the fight, alone in Tokyo managing to secure an inventory of sulfur from the farmer meant that we 100% profited and it wouldn't be long before they returned for round two. Hey, yo, Tokyo, there is a two by one at the very top of this mountain on me. That has got to be worth. I, I, I have to rate him, man. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yes, let's do it, man. We returned home for the night and prepped everything we'd need to rate the two by one. And when morning came, we were ready. Alright, let's see what we get. Wood door code lock, come on. Be juiced for us. Alright, I'm ready. Tier 1. Oh, all open. Oh. Um, 
Okay, two rows of charcoal. 400 crude. Okay. Some good comms. 20 pipes. You know what? Actually kind of juiced. Anything else I've missed? Uh, Backbox has some stuff in it. Or diesel. Hey, you know what? That was worth. You ready? Let's go. Damn. After the uh, big raid last night, looks like they must have called it for the wipe. Not surprised. Those guys, that big zerg right next to us, were just playing all day, man. I'm assuming they despawned everything, though. Alright, nice little uh, cheap raid. We love that. At this point, we were stocking up on all sorts of resources. But one thing we were still low on was cloth. And if we were going to defend a big raid, we were going to need lots of meds. So I headed to the gas station to recycle. But on my way there... Wait, Jackie Farmer? Oh, oh, uh, two gear guys at uh, Oxum's. I need your help. Hold it. At least one more. Okay, I'm dumping all the rope and circuits behind the rock. Oh my- Bro, I don't see him! He's, what the fuck? These camo kids, man, they're crazy. Oh shit, are you good? Oh no. There are more. I don't really know how to play this. I'm pushing that. Put that again, shit. Oh, I see so many. Can't tell if he's above or below. What? Oh my god, my headshot hit three times. I'm coming back. I had died, but while respawning, alone in Tokyo had killed two AKs himself, meaning it was just two left. Ah, there's already a guy loose in the first body. Wait, hang on a minute. <gasps> Wait. Good one. Got MP5. Both dead? No way. No way did they just fumble that badly. That guy was an idiot. Think they're all dead? That is so much loot. <laughs> good job on killing the yeah, yeah, good job on killing those AK guys as well. Yeah, well that was a that was a big win. Oh my gosh, Tokyo, look in the uh, automatic drop box. Oh that is so satisfying. It's just been cooking sulfur. Wait, there's an AK here. Oh my gosh, they've come back. I'm getting pushed, I don't know how close you are. One full dead. There's at least one more. One more dead. No! Fuck, last guy's low. Headshot hit. Headshot hit three times! I hit him three times, but I whiffed. Did you get him? Oh shit, they're all dead. Sit down, Tokyo. I didn't realize you killed them all. What a legend. Oh my god. Oh, this little tubo one's got a lot of loot now. God damn. Yeah, I, I barely did anything and then they're all dead. Who knew? Tokyo the fucking Chad. He did. This guy was just saw. Oh, got a row of sulfur ore. Goddamn. Oh, that's all. Nice. 
Bro, we are killing it right now, man. We're just clearing these groups left and right. After winning some big fights, we had plenty of kits to begin filling our lockers. We spent some time as another night fell, doing some organizing. Ah, oh, super smelters putting in work, man. God damn. <laughs> Looking juicy. It was starting to get late into day three of the wipe, and our area was beginning to cool down. With our large amount of sulfur, we decided to craft some rockets and attempt to raid the old farm base belonging to the Zerg that had logged off the night before. Wait, has it already been raided? Or did it decay? Damn, man. Have we missed out? Oh, four boxes. <gasps> oh, I don't think this has been raided, Tokyo. Um, well, we've got a row of perfect clones. Um, <laughs> is it time to set up a farm? Holy shit, these guys had an operation going on, man. What? <laughs> um, alright, I guess we're not gonna need some food. <laughs> You're a box of potatoes. Damn, yeah, we've got a row of perfect clones of each, like, type of berry. That's insane. Oh, shit. Oh, my... Surely not. <laughs> well, uh... We're not low on cloth anymore. Holy shit. Thanks to it being late, and with some miraculous timing, we'd managed to catch the decaying Zerg's farm base right on time. Cloth was no longer a problem. I mean, fucking hell, either way, that would have been a worth raid. Like, <laughs> I would have happily sent three rockets for all that. My god. The only thing that scares me about this base is how close our boxes are to just, like, the peaks. I mean, I know our entire base is armored, but if they get there and just rock it up, our entire loot room is just gonna, like, fall down. That would be so sad. Like, imagine just watching an incense come in here and just burn everything. With how rich the farm base was, we decided to use some rockets to blow deeper, thinking that there could be more loot in the core. I cannot believe how many berries we just got for that. I'm setting up a farm. I'm gonna do it, man. Alright, here goes! Kaboom! Come on. No, another garage door. Oh, those boxes are not looking. Ah, this is tough. Do we do we finish it? Is that worth the final garage door? That is so hard to say. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's finish it. Kaboom. Oh, a little bit of stone. Maybe there's something in TC. Come on. Ah, oh, man. Okay, we got a few rows of stone. Got a Jackie. Ah, could have been worse. After moving all of the loot from the farm base home, I had a new plan. See, we now had access to rows of perfect clones, meaning if we set up a simple farm we'd be able to grow our own berries and craft ourselves max health teas, which could be exactly what we need to defend a raid. And so it looked like I was returning to my roots with the tea empire. I'm gonna build the best farm the server has ever seen, right, right after this one, because this one will be much better than mine. I'm even stealing their water, but it's worth it. See, why bother going to the effort of pumping my own water when I can just steal theirs? Wait, why is it not working? Aha, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna be here for a while, but I think it's worth it. Each of these is 500 water. See, I'm pretty sure you only need around like five or 6,000 to, to water a whole planter box. So 
Honestly, this will keep me going for a long time. Alright, I've got my very own little water box over here. Have my water barrel here. Let's load that one up. Okay, 16 and a half liters. That's a good start. There we go. Another 15 liters. Brilliant. And with all the water I'd need for my farm, now I just had to build it. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the wood aesthetic. I think I'm going to have the farm wood. Right, so I'll have my two planter boxes on there. Little frame it. Make it in the court? Nah, that's too easy. I, I want it outside. It's cute. I like it like this. Hey, we got plenty of turrets, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, shut up, Tokyo. <laughs> Let me do my thing. <laughs> I got a little, uh, little low wall here. This is where I'm going to put my heater. Put my heater on. This will be magnificent. Trust me. It's time for the planters. Okay, one there. We want it in line perfectly. Yes, it's beautiful. It wouldn't be complete without its own auto turret though, now will it? Just gotta make sure no one's stealing my berries. Got the heaters and the lights working. Let's go. Right now, I just need to sort out the water. And. Aha! We got it! <laughs> water. God damn, I'm good. <laughs> Last but not least, the torrent. Oh, yeah. Uh. set up the entire base and I've not been hit once. I make one auto turret. <laughs> hey, listen, man. I I'm sorry. I'm so <laughs> now it is time for the seeds. So, we're going with red berries and we're going with yellow because I am making some max health teas. With the farm built, all that was left was waiting for the berries to grow. But it was starting to get really late into the day, and so what better time than to do some raids? <gasps> Look at those berries! They're growing! They're almost there! Right, I'm gonna go do a raid. Alright, what do we reckon? 2 by one key lock? Is this gonna have much? Let's find out. Okay, all open. TC unlocked. Yo, 350 scrap? That's not even bad. Alright, you know what? <laughs> Actually wasn't even bad for one door. That's a solid ore raid. Hey, this guy farming over here. Let me get him. Oh, thought it was full metal. He was not. <laughs> he was like riot helmet. Oh, did have a Tommy and a red card though for some reason. I will take that. I think the berries are ready. Let's do it. Yes. Doing them one by one to savor it. <laughs> oh my god, I've already got 35. This is insane. They call me the berry man. Oh, look at that. Four stacks of red, three stacks of yellow. That is incredible. Okay, so we put in three lots of red, and then one lot of yellow. Oh. Boom! And that should make me, what, 20 basic teas? Is that right? That's insane. There you go, 20 basic teas. Ah, see, I should have done more planters with red berries than yellow. I hadn't really thought about the fact that there's a 3 to 1 ratio on that. Ah, well. Okay, let's try this. So if we put those basic teas and split them up, we can get, what, maybe six advanced teas? Yeah. Oh no, five. Five. 
Okay, perfect. Now we've got five advanced. We can put in, I guess, four of those and make one pure tea. Look at that. This is this is one of the first ever, like, pure teas I've ever actually crafted from berries I've grown. That's insane. Yes! Hey, who knows? Maybe that extra 20 HP will save us if we do get raided. And after replanting my berries, it was now 2 a.m. We'd been playing for 18 hours, and I was ready to call it for the night. I was hearing the occasional noise from strangers outside the compound, and so decided to lay low, waiting AFK into the early hours of the morning. All throughout the night, players were scouting the compound. It was clear that we'd caught the interest of a number of different groups. However, it seemed for now, our base was safe. And after two hours, I decided to finally go to bed. Oh, oh, let's go. 600 scrap, what the fuck? That was insane. All right, all right, I go 400 on one, 120. It's, uh, and a little bit on 10. It's gonna be 110 or 20, I can feel it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, is that 10? That's 10. Oh, it was one. You know what? Still got 400. Let's go. Okay, I got two, 2,000. 200, right. You know what? I'm feeling a big one on five. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, five, five. Give it to me. Oh, oh, come on. Stop. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Tokyo, I have 3,500 scrap and the two Sams. <laughs> Give us the 20. Come on. Wait, that actually might be 20. Wait, that... Oh no, oh, we just made so much, <laughs> GG, alright, uh, let's, let's get out of here, I think we just, yep, <laughs> well, I got 7k scrap, what the fuck, well, I'm absolutely gonna claim my own mini copter, I think the moral of this story is, gambling is good, <laughs> no, no, it's not, it's not, kids, don't gamble, please, flying on 280 ping, Oh, this feels rough. Oh, fuck, here goes the landing. Wait, Tokyo, what the fuck? <laughs> back up, back up. I need space for this maneuver. Oh, I've got it. Oh, I'm too too clean with it. Expert. What about you, Tokyo? Is that... Oh, look at us both. Well, that's like the most attractive looking small box I've ever seen. This duo goes crazy. Hey, and while we've been gone, the berries have grown. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A row of red berries. Balling. God oh, damn. 40 basic teas from one, uh, one little farming thing. Wait, there's someone Jackie farming outside our base. One dead. Wait, there's two of them. Both dead, okay. Never mind. Aw, oh, man, they just started farming. They had a Jackie, though. Oh, this guy at least had a saw. Get some more sulfur. Oh, that is an Arctic suit going into that base. Yeah, Tokyo, okay. we got a new base quite near. I got SARS at least. I had spotted a new small group's base near to us. I decided to go and investigate. Ooh, they're building. Externals. One dead. I hear one near me. Another one said, uh, they own two bases around here. Yeah, could you come here if you can? I've killed two, but there are probably more. Wait, there's two more. I actually think there's quite a few here. This would be an interesting online to do. They own both these bases. That's bad. Killed another one. There are a couple of road signs dead here that we could loot. Wait, I'm getting pushed. There's one on me close by the rocks. Where are you right now? The 
one. Oh, oh my god, I'm getting M39 from a different direction. Oh, fuck. I've got an army coming towards me. This is a whole different group. Headshot for metal. Hit the other full metal. Oh, I just got doubled. What? That guy's insane. I'm getting pushed hard. No, I doubled him, but I got an NA. Fuck, man. Oh, it's Susu. Oh, that's a big group. I grabbed a Tommy kit and headed back as fast as I could. Yeah, we should 1 million percent raid this group right here, though. I don't think they're with that big squad that just came through. I think that was just bad luck. There's a lot? Okay. Good one. Woo! That guy is AK. Goddamn. Got down one on me. No, dude, I can't kill anyone, man. Fuck, I got him so low. Not wanting to give this group time to build up, we decided to head right back with explosives. We got three kill here on a hazzy. That um, missed. Oh, okay, we should definitely raid these guys. You want to say fuck it and go back and get the boom? I'm kind of down. You are. Oh my. What the fuck? This is sick, but also kind of weird because it's just a two by one. Like, wh what? Is that ladder hatch open? Oh, that poor fucking dude. <laughs> Hello? Hello. We're in your base. <laughs> poor guy chose the wrong time to go AFK. Oh my, oh my gosh, what the fuck? Look at these boxes, man. What? These guys were so loaded. <laughs> Jeez, almost 200 HQM? For one door? Oh, these guys are so, so sad. What a cool but also really bad base design. I, I love it. As a base builder, I love it. But it's very poorly optimized. Let's go raid Fernie base? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's not let these guys have anything. You good? You go? Oh my god, your life scared me. Well, now we got a way out. That works. Oh, 5k sulfur. Have a couple of bean cans. So worth it. Let's just take this base over, this is nice. After securing both their main base and their furnace base, we weren't done just yet. We had boon to use, and it was time to look for more raids. There's a base up here. What the fuck? Uh, uh, Tokyo, this guy's online. We got a good raid right here. Get your ass over here right now with Boom. Okay, he's on time, he's on time. Get over here right now. This, I reckon this is worth. We're already one door deep. Oh, 
All right, let's fucking do it. Nice. Guess that works. Let's go, go, go. Oh my god. Nope, that turret is not empty. Never mind. Oh, uh, turrets. Nope, we're good. Oh, TC, we're in. It's one of those unlooseable designs, but I reckon we can get it. Alright, good job, man. Another successful raid. Evicted another neighbor. There's some uh, charcoal in the furnies. These were... This is a duo by the looks of things. Alone in Tokyo and I were on a roll. We were feeling pretty unstoppable. Winning fights, winning raids, and hoarding loot. However, we may have been getting complacent. Because in that time, we'd forgotten <laughs> about our one true threat. While I had been AFK, a group of nakeds had run to our base and said just one word. Boom. And while I might think nothing of this, a player like Tokyo, with as much experience as he does with the large zergs, he knew what this meant. And from his experience, a threat like this meant we didn't have much time. We had done everything we could to prepare. We had boxes filled with sealing materials, HVs, and smokes. But against this Thai zerg, we didn't know if we had enough. The clock was ticking. And we had a feeling that as the sun rose on the next morning, our time was up. <sighs> well, this is it, man. If we go down, I've had a great week. Oh, fuck me, I'm nervous. <laughs> Alright, I shut most of the ground floor doors, I think. Um, maybe we can just double check, though. Uh, I think we're as ready as we can be, man. I don't know what else we could do. Well, Tokyo, it has been an honor. We could feel the raid getting close. Our area was eerily quiet. We were being watched. And finally, at that moment, alone in Tokyo saw it. A scrap helicopter to the west. But at that exact second... No. Tokyo, my game crashed. What the fuck? No! Bro, that's like the most random crash I've ever had. Ah, uh, I'm coming back in now, I'm reloading. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Oh my god, what was that timing? Okay. What the fuck? Oh, it's so many! Holy shit! Yeah, I'm taking off that side. Oh my, what the fuck do you do? I can't even peek. so wide as well I have to go down I, I can't do anything from up here literally nothing I'll oh, take it down here too okay
fuck, they're playing so well, like none of them are peeking through. Holy shit, I, I, I don't even know what to do. Holy, how many rockets do they have? What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna try and go wide, kill some of the rockets, because I don't know what else to do here. Dead again, fuck. <laughs> well, at least I got one. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was not expecting him to do that. Oh, there are so many. Now, they'd fired more than a hundred rockets, and there was little we could do to stop them. And while you may think it's almost over, unfortunately, the raid had only just begun. What? Oh my fuck! Well, that was like 15 rockets! They're not stopping! Holy shit! Oh, oh my god, that was a guy. It was, it was a bush. Uh, our core is still intact, just what the fuck? Bodies, come on. Bro, these guys are so like good. I I, I can't they're playing so together that I can't isolate a single one. Holy but we're fully surrounded! This is insane! Oh fuck me, I don't know what to do! Bro, I feel like they're so deep already. <laughs> How do they have so many rockets? Oh shit, Tokyo's down. <laughs> Come here, <laughs> let me get you up. They're still going. It doesn't end. Oh, it's open. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Shut the door, shut the door. Uh, please have a kit. Oh, 
AK, yes. Oh, it's literally all open. Wait, they built a turret there? What? The, these guys are too smart. They're like expanding turrets as they get deeper into the base. Oh, bro, their raid base is like bigger than our base, man. <laughs> Look at all the TCs they've built too. Oh, what the fuck? Wait. <laughs> Kill himself. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, oh, I shouldn't have re-peaked. Fuck. Oh, I think I got one though. Bro, they, they must have fired more than 200 rockets at this base. They're, they're, they're at my beds already, Tokyo. I'm, I'm fucked, man. I don't have any, many more kits. Oh, what is that? Oh fuck, they're in the open core. Shot the hatch! <laughs> I thought they were gonna rock at me. <laughs> Our core is completely gone. That is just incredible. It was fully armored. Oh, nades! No! No! I died to that! Come on! Let's be more efficient. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's done. I don't I don't think there's much left. One hour of our base under siege by 30 plus players with more than 300 rockets, and our base was nothing but ruin. We gave it our all, but there was nothing we could do. Nothing but respect to the Raiders. They were clearly veterans at their game, and they played it incredibly well. They even tried to offer us some loot at the end out of respect, but our time on this server was over. We may have lost at the end, but that hour of Siege was one of my most enjoyable and memorable moments of Rust to date. After almost 100 hours of this Rust adventure, we had experienced our ups and downs, had gone from being the richest duo on the server, to owning next to nothing. And what a journey it had been. I have no doubt this will continue to be one of my most memorable wipes I've ever had. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you haven't watched the previous parts, make sure you do that today. And also make sure to subscribe to Alone in Tokyo, because he'll be uploading his view soon. With that said, that's all for the 1 million subscriber adventure. Thank you again for helping me hit this incredible goal. Make sure to check out my mouse pads that I've just launched. And I will see you all in the next one. You guys know the drill. Will Jim. Ow.